I'm Liz James and I'm working on Byzantine mosaics and what I'm interested in is how the little bits that make up mosaics, these things, the tesserae, were made. I've been interested in mosaics for a very long time. They sit on the wall, they look at you and they challenge you to find out more. So mosaic as an art form is used by the great Roman imperial builders, figures like Nero in his golden house, Domitian in their palaces and in their baths and it carried on being used by emperors throughout the Byzantine Empire with this increasing emphasis on putting it onto walls and onto vaults. The point being that increasingly glass was used as the medium and glass as a medium is reflective. It plays with light and that works best on a wall and it works absolutely best on a curved surface so it can pick up and reflect light. All we know about Byzantine mosaics are the mosaics themselves on the wall. We have no texts, no documents, no contracts, nothing like that that tells us anything about them. And so it seemed logical to try and find out more about the actual mosaics. In our research, what we're looking at are the little cubes of glass, the tesserae themselves, in a bid to find out how they were made, where they were made, and how tesserae from one mosaic in one church might relate to other mosaics made at the same time elsewhere in the empire and to see what that might tell us about them as works of art and what it might tell us about the historical, social type of context. Sussex has hosted the Centre for Byzantine Cultural History for about 10 years now and that has really been crucial in getting together the various experts in the fields that have contributed to the network. It's been absolutely invaluable in being able to bring together the specialists who work on um, Byzantine mosaics throughout Europe, specialists in glass science, archaeology, art history. We produced a glossary of technical terms of mosaics, which can be found on the network's website. We also produced three databases. These outputs act as focus points and they are tools where people can very easily access information that they would otherwise have to go to several libraries, both here and abroad. This work matters in a Byzantine context because mosaics are some of the most stunning and largest examples of Byzantine art that survive, and we don't understand them. We don't know how they were put together, we don't know how they were created. This way we bring art and science together to think about those issues. Thank you.